Hello, this is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Locator, a free resource on how to treatment plan utilize and maintain locator attachments for overdentures. The purpose of this video is to describe the locator core tool. This unique and innovative instrument is exceptionally easy to use and really, really specifically suited for servicing locator attachments. I have a model here. I'm going to describe all the steps in detail, but let me push it to the side for a second just to describe the actual tool itself. It's a three-piece tool that comes apart just by unscrewing like you see in here, and each one of these components has a different feature. As I describe the use of the instrument, that will better elucidate the actual features within the core tool. So what I have right here is an example of a patient's denture with an existing pair of uh, blue nylon um, locator inserts. The first thing that a lot of clinicians will do is say, okay, I've got this patient that has a two implant locator overdenture. Um, what's the best way to service uh, the actual nylon? If the part gets a little bit worn out, it needs to be changed, or if the patient says, hey, I want to get something that has a stronger retention. What you'll do with the core tool is, is you can take this instrument and unscrew the top portion. The top portion has this plunger assembly, as you see in here. And that plunger assembly, when you unscrew the tool, it moves. When it's tight, it doesn't move. And what it does is, is you're going to unscrew almost the whole way so that plunger kind of goes up and down, and you'll hear that little clacking noise. You're going to insert straight, vertically, into the actual locator nylon male and pull vertically. And unfortunately, that didn't do it, but here, there we go. And pull straight out vertically. As you see here, the nylon male will retain will be retained inside of the core tool and then I can just go ahead and take this portion turn it clockwise and that nail that male insert will pop right out into my fingers I can repeat that by doing the same motion but I'll show you the example that a lot of clinicians sometimes do so they take the tool and they just start inserting into here and unfortunately it doesn't work you have to remember to unscrew the core tool just like so and that plunger becomes visible when the plunger starts going up and down, I can take it, insert it into my locator vertically and remove straight vertically, and you'll hear a snapping noise as it comes perfectly out. You'll also notice that if I take this over a bench top and twist it down, the locator will pop out. And many times it will go flying. I use that as an example for the video so you can see exactly what happens. Now, that's the removal end of the core tool. As I unscrew it, you'll notice that this part can be put aside carefully. This portion underneath the, in, the removal tool is the insertion tool. What I can do is just very carefully grab my nylon male, and you'll notice that it doesn't retain the world's best, but it'll hold in there okay. It's meant just to lightly hold on top of the actual tool. And many times I'll carry it just like this to the patient or to the denture so that way it doesn't go flying on the floor. What I can do with this instrument is, is take my existing denture cap, I've removed uh, the existing nylon insert, insert vertically until you hear a click noise. And that means the locator nylon male insert has been properly reassembled. And repeat with the other side. Sometimes it will go flying like that into the denture. It's perfectly normal. What I'm going to do with my tool is just hold it straight, straight up and down, until I hear that popping noise. You will not always hear the popping noise with the locator core tool, but the vast majority of the time you will. The third portion of the core tool is this little kind of yellow goldish end. And this is a really neat tool because it has a dual function. You'll notice that on the inside part, or pardon me, the inside part is where the screw is, but there's this little tiny hole in there. More on that later. The outside part has this triangle. The triangle is the portion that's going to allow you to take your locator and insert it into your patient and their implant, just like so. I'll grab another attachment and just show you briefly how that will snap onto there. And now this I can take directly to the patient and the implant. But what you'll notice is that as I do that, it does fall out. Zest has addressed this. Not many clinicians are fully aware of this little neat plastic insert, but this is something I absolutely love to do with my patients and it facilitates treatment tremendously. You'll notice that it's almost on every one of my other videos as well because I find it so invaluable. 
This is just a simple little plastic cap that goes over the end of the core tool. That plastic cap will then receive the locator end, allowing this to be retained. As I hold it upside down, now that insert or the abutment will not be lost. One thing you'll notice that occasionally sometimes it doesn't go in or it's kind of tricky to get it in there, don't ever allow assistant to push like this with the tool to get it to snap in. What I find the easiest way to do this is I take the plastic cap, put the locator abutment on first, like so, and then I take this little plastic ring and then I put it over everything. And now it's really, really on there. And you'll see it's going nowhere. So what's great about this is now I can go ahead and take this to my implants and I can reattach it to my implant just like so and it'll hold on there and can be easily removed. So this little plastic cap is really pretty invaluable for your implant overdenture cases and it is compatible with all locator attachments for every implant system. So the large screw will go into this end just like so as you reassemble your tool and it is packaged and sterilized back the same way. So now what we do is we have our tool completely assembled back together. The one thing I wanted to touch on is this little end of the core tool. It's really pretty interesting because what Zest has figured out is, is that many times a clinician will be inserting a locator abutment onto any sort of implant system. There's two or three ways to torque down this attachment. First step is just to go ahead and order from Zest Anchors um, a locator uh, right angle driver insert. This is pretty cool because it just has the triangle end which is compatible with the locator star, the locator triangle on the top portion. So what's neat is, is you can then go ahead and assemble it with any sort of locator um, or the locator tip can go into any sort of torque wrench and then you can go ahead and snap it on there and then place this and then torque down. Additionally, what, uh, what the company has, has designed is, is inside of this core tool, inside of here, not on the end with the triangle, but on the opposite end, the one with the screw channel, there is an 050 inch hex slot inside of there. So if you're stuck and you go, oh no, I forgot to get this little uh, locator triangle driver, you're not out of luck. As long as you have your core tool, you can insert this onto your locator abutment, and then with any sort of 050 or 048 hex driver, you can insert it into that slot, being careful, positioning my finger like this, I can then torque it down very easily. And you'll see here that that has the little 050 in there and it will very easily slide into there with my standard 050 hex driver. So that's pretty much the locator core tool. Uh, it is assembled. I like to keep it like this as I sterilize it. The little plastic caps are single use only, so I dispose of those. Um, one that thing that is nice additional, I'll work you through in this video, is I'll go ahead and take a denture that has a couple of the black processing males, just simulating as if we were to just pick up these attachments in the mouth. What I would do is I would take my locator core tool, I would unscrew this end just a little bit, about two-thirds of the way out, insert directly, vertically, into my black processing mail, and pull vertically. And you'll notice that it pops really, really clean out. Now, the little black processing mails, a lot of times they will distort as you um, turn this um, clockwise, so you do have to just peel this off. Now, at this point, I will repeat, and then insert my standard um, nylon inserts. In this case, it's blue, just like you see here, vertically, and then vertically. There we go. And now it can be very easily assembled back onto your patient. So a couple of little pearls about this tool. Um, the, the locator core tool, this is the updated version. The older version used to have a hook 
here on the end. Uh, the hook end only worked for me occasionally. A lot of times I would have to then go in there and pry it out of there um, and then the locator insert was damaged and I would just tell you the truth I would just jump on there and, and grab a scaler type instrument and pluck it out of there and I pull like this. The good news is is that you don't have to do that with the new core tool. The old core tool used to be that way and you would damage the attachment every time. The nice thing is, is that as I remove this blue insert carefully closing it down I can then reuse this with the same patient. Once it goes in the mouth of course I don't want to reuse it on other patients but case in point what will happen a lot of times in my offices is I'll start with the blue attachment and sometimes the patient will say you know doc I wish it was a little bit more retentive than that. Then I'll go ahead and I'll take the pink attachment and insert it into there. And then sometimes what will happen is as I do that then I have to actually remove the pink attachment because it's too retentive. And then I can easily go back to the same insert as you see here, just pop it right on there, goes into the denture, and now I'm rocking. So one word of caution as well is you have some competitors out there that manufacture a tool that looks somewhat similar to this. As you see here, it's distinctly different from the locator core tool. And one of the benefits of the locator core tool as opposed to some of the competitor products is, is this end has to get screwed into the actual insert, which destroys the insert you cannot reuse the inserts. Once you screw this in, pluck it out. And this end does not retain the attachment as well with the locator, and this is not compatible with the locator insert. The locator core tool is specifically designed for the Zest uh, locator attachment and the nylon males that are uh, associated with the system. Um, all of these components are available directly through Zest Anchors as well or from your implant distributor. Uh, sometimes the distributors don't carry these little white caps um, that go on the top end of the actual core tool. However, um, if they don't, you can order directly from Zest Anchors. So this has been, this is Dr. Scherf uh, with Learn Lo Locator, a free resource on how to treatment plan, utilize, and maintain locator attachments for overdentures. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for additional videos coming in the future.